They need to pay for what they did. Like this, 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 all this crime is just too much. A mother's plea for justice. She says her son was one of three people shot in the streets of downtown Melbourne. She claims he was out for a night on the town on Friday when the bullet started flying. Melbourne police say it all started as a fight and ended in a shootout, shattering windows and leaving businesses boarded up. I have colon cancer. I had to leave my chemotherapy and I can't even do my chemo. Got to be here saying about my son because somebody wanted to be reckless. That's not fair. Police say the shooting happened on Saturday morning around 1.30. Days later, two of the victims are still in critical condition. Police are still searching for suspects and more witnesses. They have arrested two people over the weekend. Those two are charged with resisting an officer. As for the person who pulled the trigger, police are still investigating. And nearby businesses hope the crime doesn't turn people away. We're feeling, um, we're feeling a lot better now today. You know, uh, these things, uh, despite of whatever may have happened, we just want you to come down and support us. Cottonway's Boutique was caught in the crossfire, losing this storefront window. Thankfully, the shop was closed and no employees were hurt. There's too much investment here in downtown Melbourne uh, and we're going to make sure it's safe. We are a law and order community and we're going to ensure that downtown Melbourne is safe for your families. At Tuesday City Council meeting, the mayor plans to address the issue with some businesses in full support of change. Increase the patrol of the police officers would be great. I think it would help deter anything like this. It's a great downtown. It's great for families all day. This is something again that happened at 1.30 in the morning when you know families are asleep. These are things that don't normally happen here. In downtown Melbourne, Melbourne, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.